Hey, Chad, I hope you weren't referring to me as a hot mess this morning. <laughs> but going on from there, we are talking all about old Hollywood, and I'm talking with a tri-state icon in the entertainment world. His name is Richard Elson Peter. You've probably seen him on the tube in the past. But one thing we are talking about today is how he got his start. And of course, you were in Hollywood in the 40s, which is really that golden age that everyone talks about. Oh, yes, yes. And it was so great because you just knew everybody mm -hmm. and, and, and were friends of everybody. And I, I lived with the widow of James Stewart Blackton. Now, her name was Evangeline Russell in the silent era. And she was a big star in the mm -hmm. silent movies. But yeah. her husband, who had passed away, owned and founded Time Warner. And everybody knows the movie company yeah. Time Warner these days. Well, he, yeah, a Vitaphone and Vitagraph, which later became Warner Brothers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he founded that and bought the machine from Thomas Edison. So, I mean, he was the pioneer. Exactly. <laughs> well, one thing we talk about with old Hollywood, you know, these days, actors and actresses are untouchable. They kind of act annoyed when you even see them in public. But what was it like? Were there, was there jealousy? Were people out to get each other back then? No, I, I, I don't remember anybody. It's jealousy it just what well, didn't happen. Mm -hmm. That was with the professional people. And I never... I never heard of jealousy between them. Everybody was uh, supportive. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, jealousy was not a word, I don't remember it ever. In, well, in theater. One thing you said that kind of struck a chord was everyone there respected each other because you, if you weren't good, you wouldn't be in Hollywood. That's right. something to remember as we go through this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up on KHQA this morning, we're going to move into the tri-state entertainment world now and talk to you a little bit about a tri-state show that made waves back in its day. And you're going to want to tune in for that.